you through a leg workout. The ultimate goal of this workout is muscle growth. We're going to do that with lower rep ranges in the beginning and then moving on to that trademark 35 rep burnout towards the end. We're going to break the legs into four muscle groups. We're going to start with calves, move to quads, then hamstrings, and we're going to finish off with glutes. This workout should take approximately one hour to an hour and a half. This is not an aerobic workout. Allow your heart rate to stabilize before moving on to your next set. If you're ready, I'm ready. Grab your pre-workout and let's get after it. We're gonna start off with seated calf raise so we hit both the gastroc and the solus. We're gonna hit the five sets of six to 10 reps followed by a 35 rep burnout. I've done both high reps, low weight, and low reps, high weight. And I've found over the years that my body responds best to heavy weight when dealing with calves. After you've successfully completed the five sets, we're gonna do a burnout of 35 reps on the seated calf raise. This is gonna be intense. The trick with calves is keeping tension on the muscle and getting a full contraction. Bouncing the weight up and down isn't gonna benefit you. Next up is standing calf raises on the Smith machine. This is gonna be five continuous sets, stripping weight off each set with about one minute rest in between. You wanna hang out around the eight rep range, but make sure you're still going till failure. Me personally, I go till failure on every set. With the standing calf raise, we're gonna be isolating the gas rock, not the solus. After the five sets, we're going to hit another 35 rep burnout, doing standing calf raises, isolating that gastrocnemius. Again, with this 35 rep burnout, the weight should challenge you. Get that 35 reps, go full intensity, all in, and finish off your calf workout with a good set. Whew. Moving on to quads, we're going to pre-exhaust with leg extensions, five sets of six to 10 reps. I like to pre-exhaust on leg extensions so that the circulatory and the nervous system are ready for the compound movements like squats. But remember, this isn't a warm-up set. This is all out intensity, five sets until complete failure. Next up, barbell squat. We're gonna do four sets of varied stances at six to 10 reps. With this movement, we're gonna vary our stance to make sure that we hit all areas of the quadricep. We start out close to hit the outer sweep of the quad. Then as we move our legs outward, we start to hit the adductor portion of the leg, which is the middle portion. It's good to make sure you hit this movement toward the beginning of your workout because it is a demanding exercise. By hitting a compound movement like this squat, you could stimulate muscle areas that you couldn't hit otherwise with other exercises. Foot and toe positioning can play a vital role in which area of the quadricep you're hitting. As you do narrow stance, keep your toes pointed forward. We're gonna work on the outer sweep of the quad. As we move outward, you can keep your toes pointed forward to make sure that we're hitting more the quad than the hamstring. Make sure you're not locking out your knees at the top to prevent a knee injury. Next up, narrow stance leg press. We have three sets of six to 10 reps. With this exercise, we keep our toes pointed forward to isolate the outer sweep of the quadricep. Just because this movement is toward the end of our quadricep workout does not mean that we don't go heavy. Still utilize the full benefit of the machine by adding as much weight as you can to stay within that eight rep mark. At the top of the movement, get a full contraction, but do not lock out the knees.
Last up for the quadriceps is the sissy squat. The sissy squat, we're gonna do 35 reps and really get the blood flowing to the muscle. When executing the sissy squat, you want to rock forward on your toes, keep the pelvis up, and stretch the quad as much as possible. Done with calves, done with quads, now it's time for hamstrings. We're starting out with the glute ham raise, five sets of six to 10 reps. A good alternative to this, if your gym doesn't have a glute ham raise, would be the lying leg curl. With the glute ham raise, you could optimally stretch and squeeze the hamstring using mostly body weight. Adding some light weight can make the movement even more challenging. After this movement, the hamstrings will be pretty well warmed up and we're going to move on to stiff-legged deadlifts. With this movement, we're going to do two drop sets till failure, 6 to 10 rep range. Again with this movement, choose a weight that's going to challenge you. Be sure to have a slight bend in the knee and keep your chest up so you can really smash that hamstring. I prefer dumbbells with this movement because I can keep my hands at a neutral position. But a barbell is another great alternative to the stiff-legged deadlift. Next up, back to the leg press for wide stance. We're going to do three sets of six to ten reps. For this movement, we're going to utilize the duck stance with feet pointed out to really isolate the hamstrings and actually activate the glutes that are going to come into play later on. Whenever you're executing a hamstring movement, you want to push through your heels rather than your toes. Remember, toes are going to focus on the quad, while the heels are going to focus more on the hamstring. Last up for the hamstrings, a 35 rep burnout of duck squats. We're going to complete this in one set. For the duck squat, you're going to point your feet outward to complete this movement. The more you point your feet out, the more challenging the movement can become. By this point, your body weight should be more than enough to challenge you. Slowing down the last couple reps can make this set even more challenging. Last up on the list for legs is glutes. We're going to start on the abductor machine, five continuous sets of six to ten reps. Each set, you should only have around 10 to 15 second rest in between. With this movement, after a nice warm-up, start at your heaviest weight and move up the pin stack, causing you to go till failure every set. After each set till failure, you're not going to want to move on to that next set, but get your head straight, focus, and get it done. Last up on the list, a 35 rep burnout with barbell hip thrust. We're going to complete this movement in one set. We're going to finish off this movement to hit any part of the glute that we didn't hit on the AB Doctor machine. At the top of that movement, get a good contraction and really squeeze those glutes. At this point, you should be completely exhausted. If you did this workout correct, you could even be crawling out of the gym. By breaking down the legs into four different target areas, you'll be sure to keep them proportioned and balanced. At the same time, you're going to ensure strength and muscle gains. Be sure to do this workout once a week.